Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. Situation at the eruption site north of Grindavik changed uh, dramatically since the last update. Now we have only one crater, actually a twin crater that you see on the picture erupting and it is the northernmost crater that is active. The other two craters to the south shut down. So the crater which used to emit lava that travel a direction Blue Lagoon is not active anymore and it's a good news. Now all the lava which is erupting from the northernmost crater is traveling to the east away from human infrastructure into the uninhabited areas towards Fagradalsfjall. Now we will go over the latest update from the Icelandic Med Office. Med Office published the update yesterday at 15.45 in the afternoon and they say that since yesterday, it means the day before yesterday today, since the day before yesterday, in the early evening, volcanic tremor and visible activity from the eruption have further diminished, but the activity stabilized again after midnight, they mean the last night, the night before. Nevertheless, the eruption remains quite powerful and the activity has not decreased as quickly as it had in the previous eruptions along Sunuka Ginger Crater. For comparison, the current lava flow is estimated to be on par with the most vigorous eruptions at Fagradalsfjall. The northernmost vent is the most active with the main lava flow now extending eastward from it. Overnight sporadic splashes of lava were observed above the rim of the southernmost vent, means the night before, but no activity has been observed there today, means yesterday. Similarly, the middle vent, which was the most active during the first days of the eruption, experienced a significant decrease in activity yesterday and no activity is visible today on the live camps and the report says yesterday so already yesterday there was no activity visible in the middle and the southernmost craters the lava flow that has been traveling westwards slow has slowed it down and cooled it on the surface however Lava may still continue to flow beneath the solidified crust towards the protective barriers near Svartsengi and the Blue Lagoon, though its advance has significantly slowed, and that is very good news for Blue Lagoon, and it means it's likely to survive. Experts from the Icelandic Institute of Natural History measured the lava fields spread on Saturday about about three days into the eruption, according to these measurements, the total volume of lava had reached about 43 million cubic meters, covering approximately 8.5 square kilometers. This is roughly 65% of the volume from the last eruption, which lasted 14 days. Land continues to subside in Svartsengi, though at slower rate compared to what was observed at the start of the eruption. It is still too early to determine where the magma accumulation will persist under Svartsengi. The flow of lava from the eruptive vents needs to decrease further before any conclusions can be made about continued magma accumulation. I will show you on uh, the map where the lava is going and where we have the eruption at the moment so the ongoing activity is right now east of Stora Skokvat right in this box that you see here from this crater to the north it's actually very close to the previous eruption which took place early September uh, which is slightly further north but uh, now it's uh, right next to Stora Skokvat uh, to the west of Fagradalsfjall, this mountain here to the uh, right bottom is Fagradalsfjall, those elevations here. And uh, <clears throat> But keep in mind there are some fissures in the ground, I will show you on the other map, which kind of dangerous if you walk there. 
But the town of Grindavik had been reopened to public, as you know, and anybody who wish can visit the town. So there is a checkpoint north of Grindavik, and you can't drive uh, to Blue Lagoon yet. The Blue Lagoon is likely to reopen on 29th. Uh, there is also a checkpoint at uh, Blue Lagoon Crossroad roundabout at the airport highway. But the Suzu Standardwegur and Nesvegur are open, I will show you now on the map. And the lava is going now towards Fagradasfjall. You see, it, this map is from four days ago and now it's flooded more territories here to the east. It's probably already reached Fagradasfjall. So those white terrains uh, to the right had been already flooded by the lava. In this flow towards Blue Lagoon, stop it completely, cool it down. But there is a hot lava under the uh, cool it crust and we might see more breakouts in that direction, but for now, as the situation is now, the Blue Lagoon remains safe. This map is showing the closure points uh, around the eruption site. So there is a checkpoint north of Grindavik, but the town of Grindavik is open. You can even visit Papa's Pizza there and to have a lunch or dinner. Um, and P1 parking is also open, P2 parking are open, trail, trail A, trail B. Trail C, one can hike up Fagadas Fiat and see the eruption from the distance of several kilometers. So those are the big news um, uh, for the residents of Grindavik and for the tourists as well. And the Blue Lagoon itself will be open on Friday and I will be there on Friday because I'm scheduled to drive a tour to Blue Lagoon on Friday. So we will film all the lava flows from a drone, hopefully. This website tells us about the road closures on the Reykjanes Peninsula and in Iceland in general. And here you see that the road to Grindavik is green from both sides. It means it's open and 428 cars drove by it since midnight from the uh, east and 787 cars drove from the airport into Grindavik since uh, midnight. So. In the past hour, 15 cars drove into Grindavik from the east. And this will be the main access route to Blue Lagoon from the east or from the west. But the area, the roads around Blue Lagoon are all closed. And also there is a checkpoint here from the side of the airport highway. There is a checkpoint there and there is also a checkpoint in north of Grindavik here. So, but otherwise... Uh, the town is open to public and many people are staying there overnight, many residents, many families uh, live in the town now. This is the live, live view of the volcano. This is the live view of the volcano as seen from the uh, from the east, from Sandhok. Um, Right opposite to Storas Konkfet, on the other side, towards the east, there is a small hill called Sand Hotl or Sand Hill, which is right next to Fagradas Fiatl. And there is a live camera which is facing the volcano straight from the east. And this is how it looks from that location. And as you see, there is a lava flow going straight towards the east, those lines here to the right. But let's go back in time and see what was going on there earlier. This is the view right before the sunset today at 3 o'clock. More updates and videos coming. Stay tuned. God bless you. Be well. Good night.